everyone, welcome to Preschool Storytime. I'm Library Sarah from the Hope William Timberland Library. I'm happy to have you back, or welcome if this is your first time joining me. Um, this story time is aimed at preschoolers approximately age three to five years old, but if you're younger than that, or if you're older than that, I hope you'll find something that you can enjoy as well. This is my good friend Barkley the Sheepdog. He's a very wonderful dog, and he loves to help me sing good morning to everybody, but he also requests that you guys howl at the very end with him nice and loud so he can hear your howls. Okay, here we go. Sing a good morning song. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning to you. Wonderful howling. Oh, Barkley definitely heard some of those howls. That was excellent helpers, everybody. Okay, now I like to be rocket ships. Can you guys stand up at home? I'm gonna stay seated so I can still be on camera mode. If you guys can stand up and can you show me your hands? I think that we need to wiggle our fingers awake because I'm not sure if yours are awake. Mine probably could be more awake than they are. So let's wiggle them slowly, slowly, faster, faster, faster. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <sighs> They're ready to count. Can you guys help me count to 10? So we can be rocket ships. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Okay. Can you crouch down? We're going to count backwards from ten to zero and then we're going to blast off nice and big. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Wonderful. Okay, rocket ships, can you fall gently back down to the ground? Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to read a book today. Um, Grown-ups, did you know that not all books have to be picture books when you read with your kids? You can read all sorts of great nonfiction too, either by just looking at the pictures um, or reading some, you know, some of the words or have small enough words or kind of summarizing what's on the page, especially if it's like a longer nonfiction book. Um, and the great thing about that is they're getting knowledge of their real world of things they may not be seeing in their daily lives. Um, and that includes things like animals, um, which today our book is actually a fiction picture book. But this could easily be something you might find in our nonfiction section because it has all sorts of cool animals. And at the back, I'll show you. It's got a really great list of all the animals that are in the book. And it tells you some of them if they're endangered um, or if they're vulnerable. Um, all sorts of things, too. So there's lots of great stuff in here. So if you ever check this book out from the library um, or from our Overdrive or Libby app, you can look at all those up close and personal. I won't go through all those today because that would take a long time. But um, this book is called Hello, Hello, and it's by Brendan Wenzel. And this book is brought to you by Chronicle Books, uh, a wonderful publisher that lets us read books to you guys uh, virtually. And uh, he's also the illustrator of them, which you don't always get um, authors and illustrators being the same person. But in this case, we did. So huge thank you to them. Um, you can find this book on, like I said, on our library website. Um, as well as, you know, your local and online retailers if you want to buy it because you love it so much and uh, definitely recommend it. Okay, here we go. That's kind of a wide book here, so I'll try to scooch a little so hopefully you guys can see all the wonderful pictures. Hello, hello. This is actually a little bit hard to see in this light, but what do you see? Do you see something there? It's a white cat. Right next to it is a black cat. And they say, hello, hello. Can you say that with them? You can say, hello, hello, and wave. Excellent. What sound does a cat make really quick? Meow, meow. I bet you guys know that one. We won't, we won't make all the animal noises because that would be a lot. But did you notice, who do we see again? We see that black cat. It was just over here. So in this book, a fun thing we're going to do is we're going to look for the last animal on the page is the first animal on the next one. So the last one is a black cat, and the first one is that same black cat, and looks like he found some friends. Black and white. What colors do you see on these pages? We just see black and white. 
That's right, we've got a black bear, a panda. What's this one? It's all stripy. A zebra. And I think this little guy might be a zebra fish. But you notice it's our last animal, so that means our last animal is going to be our first animal. Looks like our striped fish found a blue fish. Hello, color. Got all sorts of fun things. Maybe this is a chameleon and a parrot. This one's kind of camouflaged or hidden. That's a seahorse. Got some more fish. A lobster. Some birds and maybe an iguana of some kind. Hello, bright. Bright colors. We've got our orange lizard. Last one's going to be the first one right over there. Ooh, what kind of pattern do you see on the animals on this page? What are those? Yes. Hello, stripes. And hello, what kind of pattern on this one? Spots. We've got lots of lizarding fish things. We've also got, what animal is this? A tiger. I think the spotted one is probably a cheetah. Do cheetahs run fast or slow? Do you guys know? I think they run fast, very fast. All right, you see a stripey thing right here. What is that? Black and white and gray stripes. It's the last animal, whatever it is. Whoa. What is it? It's so big. Hello, giant. And hello, not. That's not giant, is it? He's little. Last animal. <gasps> Whoa, look at what our little animal has though. He's not giant, but he's got a really long tongue. Oh, hello tongue. You point to your tongue. Hello ears, point to your ears. Wave your hands, point to your nose. Look at all of these. These animals have big tongues and ears and noses. This is a manatee. It's a very happy looking manatee. Oh, the happy little manatee says, hello pattern. Look at all these cool patterns that the shells and scales of these animals make. We've got, uh, what kind of animal is that one? This one right here with the shell. I think it's a turtle or a tortoise. I'm never quite sure just by looking at them. And I think this might be an armadillo. It's got those armored plates and it rolls up in a ball to protect itself. Some other ones. Ooh, look at this one. He has cool horns. Horns on his nose. And he's our last one, so he's going to be our first one. Hello, shape. Look at this bird's beak. What does this kind of look like? These shapes kind of look like a, something to me. Do they look like a fruit, maybe, that you eat? A yellow one? That's what it looks like to me. Oh, hello show. Look at off, they're showing off their, their tummies and their throats. This is a frog. I think a swan. Swan's our last one. Oh, there's our swan saying hello to, hello wonder. Look at these cool ones. Look at a platypus and a beaver. And I think maybe a, Hedgehog? No, it's a porcupine. It's a porcupine. It's not a hedgehog. I'm silly. I can tell because it has a longer tail and hedgehogs don't have little tails like that. But hello, whoa. I'm not quite sure what this one is, but look how cool it looks. Look at that. I wonder if it uses its long nose to get bugs or water or something out of a tree or a flower. I'm not sure. I'm have to look it up. Oh, hello, quiet. Must be quiet animals on this page. Some quiet birds. And our mysterious other quiet animal. Oh, and then hello loud! Some animals are loud, just like us, right? Look at this bird, you can tell. It's a really loud bird. It's kind of like an ostrich, but also more positive. It's still got these plumes on its head. Ooh, and a swordfish. That would be fun. And our swordfish is the last one, and look! 
thing with a narwhal. Narwhals look so cool, don't they? Hello, wild. Wow, I like these illustrations. And hello, proud. Got some butterflies and moths. Look at that. What do you see? It looks like the moths markings look like what kind of animal's eyes? What kind of a bird is that? An owl, right? Hello, beauty. Look at all those beautiful feathers. Hello, bend. These are all things you might find in the ocean, right? What's this one? I like that one. An octopus, right? I imagine them swirling in the water. Well, there's our octopus saying hello to another friend. Hello, neighbor. What kind of animal is he saying hello to? What's this one? A hippopotamus, a hippo, right? Hello, friend. A walrus is saying hello to what kind of animal is this? It looks kind of like, <laughs> it looks kind of like that's the rest of my head. It's an elephant, right? The big, long tusks. That was our last one on this page. Oh, so we just see very back of it because elephants are very big. Hello, roars, peeps, chirps, and chants. Hello, song, and hello, dance. We've got all sorts of things here. We've got, what's this one? That's a fun animal, I like that one. A lion. We've got some kinds of monkeys and birds. A little lizard up there. Wow, look at that. A world to see. Oh my goodness. We've got a lemur on this one with a cool striped tail. Is this lizard flying? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Those look kind of like wings. Maybe they help them with jumping from trees. And I know we've got what's, I think it looks like what's known as a flying squirrel. And they spread out their whole bodies and they leap from trees and somehow they make it. They're so impressive. This bird's feathers look kind of like, like a fern or Kind of a leaf. A world to know. There's our lemur saying hello to what? People. Look at that. They're friends too, just like all of our animals. I love that. Ooh, and an orangutan. Orangutan? Orangutan, maybe. Where to begin? Hello, hello. And there are all of the animals, plus some other ones too. We got like a yak and stuff. We didn't see that one. Maybe we did, but I missed it. Let's see, we might have some extra animals on these pages. That would be fun. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. There's an author's note. Um, which I will not read. It's kind of long, but you can read it. I'll zoom in if you want to pause and read aloud. You can. Or you can check it out. We've got our tiger, and then here's all as promised, all of those wonderful animals from the from our book. And some of them I knew, and some of them I didn't know either. So maybe we should all learn about them later. That'd be kind of fun, I think. The end. That's hello, hello. Okay. So that book reminds me of a fun song that a lot of librarians like to do at the beginning of a story time for a welcome song, um, but I wanted to do it right now because it reminded me of this. Book. So it's a tune of the farmer in the dell, and it's called We Clap and Sing Hello. And you're gonna catch on so fast. But basically, we're gonna clap and sing hello. We're going to wave and say hello, and we're going to stomp. And so you guys, if you want to, can stand up and stomp. I'm gonna hit my legs really loudly because I'm not sure if you can hear me hitting on the floor with my hands. So, are you guys ready? We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello, we stomp and sing hello, with all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. And if you want, you could add all sorts of other uh, verses to that. You could, I think, maybe twirl and sing hello. You could hop and sing hello. You could nod and sing hello. You could shake and sing hello. 
all sorts of fun ways to add more versa to that song if you enjoy that rhythm. I quite like it. Okay, but I want to get to Little Mouse. Here's my board. Let's see if the house will stay on while I show them to you. They did. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses. And Little Mouse is hiding in one of them and we have to help find him. Oh, I'm gonna choose this house because it keeps falling off of my board. Okay, what color is this one? Does anybody know what color this house is? Do you say yellow? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in this yellow house? Let's look. What is that? What shape is this first? It's a circle. It's a circle and it's a ball, a beach ball all sorts of unfun colors on it and you could bounce it or throw it or play with it in the water. I like a good beach ball. Okay, our next up, we'll do this one. What color is this house? Did you say pink? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in my pink house? Let's see. Ooh, I love these. They're so fun to build with. Legos! Raise your hand if you like Legos. Me. I love to build with Legos. I do not love to step on Legos. Clean up, children. The parents, they, they love the Legos, but they don't want to step on them. <laughs> All right. What color is this one? Did you say black? Little mouse, little mouse, are you in my black house? Let's see. boat a little sailboat that's fun i like sailboats i also like the song row row your boat that's a good it's a good one okay what color is this one did you say red yep little mouse little mouse are you in my red house let's see what it is Ooh, it's a food it's kind of like a tree, but it's broccoli. I like broccoli. I know sometimes people don't like broccoli, but I actually really like broccoli. It's probably one of my favorite vegetables. Fun fact about Library Sarah. Okay. Ooh. What color is this house? Did you say white? That's right. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in this white house? It's a cat, and the cat's sleeping. Oh, she also matches our house. The white cat was in the white house. Well, let's put her back in there and let her sleep some more. Okay, I know you can't see my board. I've got two houses left. Okay, I want you to guess out loud at home, which house do you think Little Mouse is in? Is he in this one or this one? We've got, what color is this one? orange and this one is purple so say out loud do you think it's in the orange house or the purple house okay we're gonna do this one first little mouse little mouse are you in this purple house <gasps> nope who is it though it's somebody fun can you see it's tigger tigger's very bouncy it has to bounce so he wasn't in the purple house, which means if you guessed the orange house, let's see if he's in here. Little mouse, little mouse, are you in this orange house? I hope he is. <gasps> we found little mouse. Good job. Oh, I'm so glad we found him. He loves being found every week. Okay. I want to sing some goodbye songs. So it's a good time to pause. If you have bubbles, go get some bubbles. Um, I'm going to use some fun scarves for our songs. Um, so if you don't have scarves, you can go get tissue paper or some fabric or a washcloth or anything that's just kind of fun to wave around in the air. Um, and we're gonna sing our songs. You guys ready? Here we go. Feel free to chaotically wave them and throw them. That's the best part. Here we go. The more we get together, together, 
Together, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And now we're going to sing our ABCs. And I think I'm going to bring my friend Barbie back for this. You can wave your scarves if you want, or you can jump, or you can do both at the same time. Wave your scarves and jump. I believe in you. Here we go. Here to sing each alphabet letter with a jump. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <sighs> are you guys so tired? I bet you're really tired. I would be tired if I did all that jumping. Okay, so for suggested after story time activity, we read this really cool book today, Hello, Hello. It had all sorts of interesting animals in it. If I talked about an animal you hadn't heard about, um, or if parents... If you're watching this and you remembered an animal that you wanted to talk about, that you loved when you were a kid, for me it was that manatee that we saw. I loved manatees when I was younger. I thought they were really cool. Um, I want you to go and learn more about that animal and maybe draw a picture of it. Um, just kind of learn about what it eats, where it lives, all sorts of things about it. And then maybe let me know in the comments if you do that because that'd be really fun to know what you guys learned about at home. And then one final thing, we have started our curbside service in a lot of our libraries in our district. Um, we're calling it Library Takeout. And at Hope Graham Branch specifically, we will be uh, having it Wednesdays and Saturdays from 1 to 5 for right now. Um, there's branches doing different days. Um, we're all doing pretty much the same time. So 1 to 5 is usually the best time, but different days. So make sure to check our website um, at uh, trl.org slash takeout. Um, but the gist of it is you call or text us um, and then you um, can come to the library and let us know you're doing that. Um, but you can return your items, you can pick up your holds that are available, and you can also pick up print jobs um, that you send remotely um, as well at that time. So lots of great things. Please wear your face masks um, or face coverings of some kind. And um, yeah, and then hopefully eventually we'll be back in the building. But for right now, we're doing this and we're really excited about it. It's just our first week this week. So bear with us. Um, we're learning with you. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed preschool story time today. And I will see you all next time. Bye.